they spoke Yiddish regularly in my house, and there was no such thing as my parents or anybody saying things only when they didn't want us to hear it, because they just spoke Yiddish. There was, there was never the feeling that there was anything secretive about it. Um, my mother was very proud of her Jewishness, and um, she, um, um, she really instilled in us a great love of being Jewish and, and pride in being Jewish. It wasn't enough that we knew the language. She wanted us to know the culture. So after school, we went to what was called the Arbeiterin Volksschule, she would send us to this folk shula because she wanted us not just to know how to speak Yiddish, but she wanted us to know the culture. She wanted us to know the literature and the music and the poetry and the bittersweet humor that was particularly Yiddish kind of humor. It was in, it was in Roxbury, not, well, it was within walking. We, my family did not have a car at that time. But my aunt and uncle who lived upstairs, they had a car. So when we traveled and things, we, we went as one family. But my dad did not have a car and my mother didn't drive. So she had to walk everywhere. So she would, hand in hand, after school, walk us to the folk show and then come and pick us up and take us back. Um, and she, um, she tells a story. This shows how she instilled pride of Jewishness in us. Uh, she tells a story that he said, my sister went to girls' Latin school, as did I. So we had to take the streetcar and change and, in order to get from where we lived to uh, where girls' Latin school was in Boston. So my sister, one time on the streetcar, was doing her homework for her Jewish homework um, because you worked very hard when you went to Latin school and you didn't have much free time that you piled the homework on you, and then we had the added homework of, of the Jewish school. So she was doing her Jewish homework, and there was somebody with her, and I guess she was reading Yiddish newspaper, and this other girl said, aren't you embarrassed to be reading a Yiddish newspaper in public like this? And my sister said, no, why? Should I be? Why should I be? And she told my mother the story. Now, my mother repeated that story with such pride in my sister because my sister said, why should I be, you know, 